Right, so, welcome back to another video on this channel. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and most importantly, the top four race in the Premier League at this moment in time is well and truly hotting up as we approach the business end of the Premier League season. Not that, you know, the sun shining or the birds chirping has any relevance whatsoever to the top four race, but you get the point, you get the gist of this, and basically what we're going to be doing in this video is going through and analysing the current top four race in the Premier League to attend Champions League football next season. Going to be going through all the teams involved, there's about six or seven teams, if not more than that, in the top four race this season, and yeah, basically going through their form, the running they have and also some of the injuries they may have that may obviously affect their running and um, yeah before we get into this video what do you think of the new graphics yay or nay leave it down in the comment section below but uh, yeah without further ado let's get straight into this video now starting off with the current second place team in the Premier League at this moment in time Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's Manchester United and yeah I'm not gonna lie to you at this moment in time it does look like Manchester United and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer of course will be odds on to claim Champions League football for next season they currently have 57 points in the Premier League they're currently 9 points ahead of 5th place West Ham United at this moment in time and also they've only lost one of the last 23 games in the Premier League which is just absolute madness if you think about it and most of the games left are pretty winnable the only real difficult games you'd have to say against competitors alongside them are against Liverpool Leicester and Tottenham and other than that they have a lot of winnable games so it really would shock me if you know they did end up bottling top four qualification and in my personal opinion I think they probably should get top four fairly comfortably at this moment in time but at the end of the day the Premier League you never even know we saw the way Leicester bottled it at the end of last season anything can happen especially in a season which has been just so mental but yeah I think that Manchester United will be getting top four and I think they will be playing Champions League football once again next season. On to the next team now, the current third place team in the Premier League at this moment in time, Brendan Rodgers' Leicester City, fresh off the bounce of that 5-0 drubbing of Sheffield United on Sunday. Now, Leicester, of course, another one of those teams that you could say they're kind of odds-on at this moment in time because they're only one point behind Manchester United, which does mean they're now eight points clear of West Ham in fifth place outside of the Champions League places. But the one thing I'd always hold about Leicester, of course, that everyone will say is last season, they really fell off the boil, they really bottled a massive lead going into the lockdown period, and of course, they did massively bottle top four in the end so could that once again be happening next this season and once again as well one of the main reasons why Leicester fell off the boil so hard at the end of last season was because of the injuries they did have and this time around they do have a few key players injured as well like James Madison, James Justin, Harvey Barnes etc and the thing about Leicester's running as well is their next game of course is against Manchester City at home which is going to be a really tough game despite the fact that Leicester did go to the Etihad and put five past them with only two in reply earlier on in the season then after the game they have a few decent run of games you know they have a few winnable games then after that their last three games if I actually get my sheet of paper here, listen to this. Leicester City's last three games in the Premier League this season, Manchester United, Chelsea, and then they finish on the last day against Tottenham. That is an absolutely just mental last three games, so they'll hope that they're, you know, just about qualified at that stage, because Leicester, in recent years, even though I just mentioned that they beat City really well earlier on in the season, they don't really have the best of records against the so-called top six sides, and I think if they're, you know, going into the last three games needing to still get points to get that top four position, I think they'll be massively under pressure, so it should be interesting to see, but overall, I think even though they could miss out because of all those factors I've just mentioned I do think they should have enough quality especially in strength and depth and I do think they will have learned a lesson from last season and I think that Brendan Rodgers will guide Leicester City into the Champions League for next season which would be an absolutely massive achievement in itself because there's no way in hell anyone would have predicted Leicester City to be competing this season especially after the end of the season they had last season when they completely bottled it so yeah I do think that Leicester will be joining Manchester United and of course Manchester City in next season's Champions League. Now to the next club the current fourth place team in the Premier League at this moment in time and that is my club Chelsea now I, I was wasn't really confident about Chelsea qualifying for the Champions League a few months back, especially under Frank Lampard's last few games when we were just losing games left, right and centre. A really bad run of form towards the Christmas period against Wolves, Everton, Arsenal, Aston Villa, Man City, those kind of teams where we were dropping points left, right and centre. But since Thomas Tuchel's come in, we've been grinding results. We look a lot more resolute, a lot better defensively. And, you know, even though the goals haven't really been flowing, I do think that we will pick up enough points to obviously, you know, stay within that recognition for the top four places. And in terms of our running, it's actually quite similar to Leicester because I think in our next like four or five games, we have to play like West Brom, Crystal Palace, you know, Brighton, those kind of teams. And then in the last three games, three or four games of the season, we have to play Man City, Arsenal, Leicester, and then we finish away at Villa Park on the last day of the season, which is going to be a really, really difficult task. I'm not going to deny that whatsoever. But to be honest, I just feel like it's in the Chelsea DNA to, you know, even when we have those tough games at the end of the season, I still think that if we need a few points to get through that last few games of the season, I think we will pick it up. And I definitely do believe that Chelsea will get top four because a few weeks ago, as you will know, if you've been watching this channel for some time, I wasn't confident whatsoever. But what Thomas Tuchel has integrated into the squad with the 3-4-1-2 system I think is bringing out the best of our squad and I think is you know offering a lot of balance to our team overall on paper and I think we look a lot more resolute as I said a lot more solid at the back we're not conceding that many goals and I do think we'll just score just enough goals to pick up enough points to get us into that top four place come the end of the season and now moving on to the current fifth place team in the Premier League Chelsea's London rivals from the bowling ground or I said the bowling ground the London Stadium I should say West Ham United the surprise package of the season undoubtedly David Moyes has done an absolutely unbelievable job at West Ham the fact they're even up 
there at this stage of the season is just an achievement in itself. And if West Ham were to lose every single game between now and the end of the season, I think that most people would praise this West Ham team from the absolute hills, even if they were to, not, as I said, lose all the rest of their games, because they've been so, so good. To even be in this position in mid-March is just absolutely astounding. They really are looking really solid this season. They're extremely organised. They're hardworking, balanced as well. I think they really have some quality as well. So overall, I think West Ham, a massive surprise package, especially with the fact that I know I don't like to say this, but I thought they'd get relegated at the start of the season if anyone did watch my Premier League predictions, but I've eaten my words. But in terms of West Ham's running, they do have a little bit of a blend in terms of winnable games and also tough games, because if I look at the stats here, they still have to play Arsenal, Leicester, Chelsea and Everton. However, in their last three games of the season, they do have to play Brighton, West Brom and Southampton, which are three very winnable games, especially given the form of all those three teams. So I think that West Ham, I think they'll just about make it to the end of the season, but I don't think they'll be able to cling on to obviously the race for the top four. I don't think they'll be able to get enough points over the likes of Chelsea, Leicester, Man United, etc. I think they'll just about miss out, but I do think they will bring it to the wire. And one of the main reasons as well why I don't think they'll make it is because of the fact they're so inexperienced in this position. They've never got top four football, to my knowledge, in the Premier League era anyway. And um, yeah, that's what, one of the main reasons why I think West Ham will a little bit kind of come up short. But overall, I think that will be a massively, massively successful season for West Ham. It would have been a successful season to stay up at the start of the season based on you know the, the, the overall general consensus of the West Ham fans. But yeah, what a season for West Ham. But I just don't think they'll be able to have enough to get into the top four come the end of the season. And now on to the current sixth place team in the Premier League, and that is Liverpool. Now, where do we start with Liverpool? I know they beat Wolves on Monday night by one goal to nil at the Molyneux, but they've lost the last six games at Anfield in the Premier League, which is just absolutely unheard of, especially with the run of like 60-something unbeaten games before that. So it's going to be a real, real challenge now for Liverpool to get back into the top four race at this moment in time. To be fair to them, they're actually only like five points off the top four at this moment in time, but in the last few games of the season, they actually have quite a decent run, and they only have to play Arsenal and Manchester United out of the so-called top six. And other than that, they have a very winnable set of games. But overall, do you trust Liverpool to pick up maximum points from those winnable games because we've seen against the likes of Brighton, Fulham, Burnley, those kind of teams who have gone to Anfield and picked up 1-0 wins and picked up 3 points which I just think says a lot about Liverpool and why no games are really you know 100% nailed on wins for Liverpool and to be honest I think they will kind of finish the season really really strongly Liverpool given that run of games even though I just said you know they don't have a good record against those teams especially since Christmas but overall I feel like they'll pick up enough points but I just think they'll miss out by a point or 2 points or 3 points I just don't think they'll have enough in them to obviously make up the ground on the likes of Chelsea and Leicester and West Ham ahead of them and for that reason I think they will be there and thereabouts coming into the season but I do think they will just about miss out by a few points and now moving on to the next team the current seventh place team in the Premier League at this moment in time Liverpool's bitter rivals Everton from Goodison Park down the road now Everton is a bit of a weird one because they have had a very good season if you look at the overall table I mean like West Ham the fact that they're even in this race at the point of the season is really really impressive and Carlo Ancelotti has definitely come on leaps and bounds with this Everton team with the quality they've shown this season but overall they seem to drop a lot of points over recent weeks especially I mean they're grinding out results against the likes of West Brom and those kind of teams in 1-0 victories but overall they just look really dull and just devoid of creativity when James Rodriguez doesn't play. Everton don't have the worst of run-ins either even though the only teams they have that are really you know you could say really difficult in terms of the teams around them are the likes of Arsenal, Manchester City, West Ham and also Tottenham they still have to play but despite that they have a very very winnable bunch of games and for that reason like Liverpool I think they will finish the season relatively strongly and I think they will you know take it to the wire to a certain extent but overall I think they'll just about fall short and I don't think they will get top four come the end of the season but even still a massively good season for Carlo Ancelotti. And now onto the final team in this video the current 8th place team yes we're gone so far into this video that the 8th place team in the Premier League with 9 games to go is still well and truly in the hunt for top 4 and that is Jose Mourinho's Tottenham Hotspur now despite the fact they were really really poor against Arsenal at the weekend and did of course suffer defeat they won the last 3 games before that against the likes of Crystal Palace Burnley and Fulham really went for the hills really attacked all 3 teams and did score a lot of goals they got 9 goals in combined in those 3 games and for some reason just decided to go back to their conservative style of play defensive football against Arsenal which of course didn't work out I don't know why they did that but nevertheless Spurs you know I'd say probably outside us for the top four at this moment in time but it is still very achievable for them coming into the season they still have to play Manchester United Everton and Leicester City but despite the fact that they do have to play those three teams they do have a very winnable you know running you could say and I think Jose Mourinho you definitely wouldn't put past them to obviously you know get a few good results and get Spurs right back into that tally coming into the season but at the end of the day I wouldn't really have much faith in Tottenham at this moment in time because despite those wins over Fulham Crystal Palace and Burnley that I did just mention I think Spurs since the Christmas period have been nothing short of shambolic for the most part anyway despite those wins as I said over those three teams I just mentioned I don't think they'll accumulate enough points come the end of the season to get into the top four place and for that reason I think they will finish around you know seventh eighth I think that's probably the position that Spurs will finish I think in all fairness but yeah that will bring us to the end of this video so if you did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like because it would be massively appreciated by myself and also if you could subscribe to the channel as well that would be massively appreciated more than you would imagine because we are looking to hit 1500 on this channel as soon as we possibly can I'll see you guys in my next video see ya